How goes it everybody? Tiff Wells here with ESPN the Honolulu The Voice of Rainbow Haney Volleyball. Today, come on down with us, media day with the team. All right, I'm with head coach Robert Amo. Coach, how have the girls been looking so far in, summer, in uh, training camp? Not bad. Very surprised uh, when we came out the first, the first day. Athletic, talented bunch. Um, seniors, seniors are leading the way with the culture, you know, and practicing and you know, having that standard. Um, but I think the girls, are, they're just hungry. Even the new ones coming in, you know, they're just feeling right, right into the, the roles. Um, excited to see. We definitely have uh, a lot of competition, especially on the outsides, um, which just raises the bar for each, you know, each individual hitter. You know, it's like that one's doing better. Like, oh, I need to get better than that one. It's just, you know, and just raises the level at practice and just better comp. And that was one of the things you mentioned coming into the off season was you wanted, you needed more arms. You got those arms. How have those first years, how have the transfers, how have they've all, how have they all looked? The transfers coming in right mm -hmm. now, I think everybody in here uh, <clears throat> is doing great. You know, some, Again, like not all of the transfers, when they come from different schools, they, they're allowed to do all the different things. Maybe they're only there just to hit and block. But, you know, for me, I'm just like, if you're an outside, you know, to hit, block, play defense, pass, serve, you know, you need to do everything. So there's some that are like playing catch up right now, but it doesn't necessarily mean they're like, you know, not, you know, giving competition back and, and whatnot. But the ones that are coming in, I mean, the bar is high. Um, they come out and they, they practice hard. What are you most looking forward to next Friday, opening night against Northwestern? I don't know, it's just so fun. Excited, you know, we don't know right now what's gonna happen. We, we're starting to do sixes, um, but I know the girls are gonna come out, and they're gonna come out fired up. Um, it's gonna be great this season, I feel it, uh, yeah. Jason, what was, what's it been like so far for you coming from Clemson via Spokane, Washington, now you're in Hawaii. What's it been like so far for you? It's been really great, honestly. The transition has been definitely different. Um, more volleyball focused here for sure, um, more gritty. So I'm excited to keep on going with the season this year. To have a returning All-American, Amber Ijidi is one of your counterparts in the middle. How has she helped you make this transition easy? Um, honestly, she's been there to help me in many different ways, outside of the court, on the court, just keeping me um, accountable and holding me accountable for everything that I do on the court, um, and she's she's definitely an inspiration for sure. Someone that I look up to. What's been one of the big differences coming from Clemson now to Hawaii? Um, definitely more volleyball focused. Like we, I do more defense, like I do everything. Clemson was more of like just middle based. Um, so here I'm doing everything that I can do in volleyball in general. Have they told you how crazy of a fan base this is? How many fans to expect for games this season? Yes, I heard around 10,000, 8,000. So I'm excited for that. That'll be cool to experience. Thank you for the time. Thank no you, Jackie. No problem. Thank you. All right, I'm here with redshirt freshman setter Jackie Matias. Jackie, to be, be a Keiki Okan to be born and raised here, what does it mean for you to wear a Hawaii on your jersey? Um, I'm really excited this season to actually have a chance to possibly get on the court and it means a lot that both my mom and dad both went here to UH as well so hopefully I'll be able to create my own legacy. How excited are you for this season? I'm super excited. We have some really good teams in our preseason and even going into season it's going to be a lot of back-to-back -back games so I'm sure it's going to be really exciting. To have an upperclassman, all-conference setter, Kate, be your teammate as a setter, how do you feed off of her? How does she feed off of you? Mm -hmm. I definitely think Kate has a lot of knowledge under her belt being here for a little bit already, and she she knows what Coach Rob expects, and we've also been talking a lot to each other and giving each other feedback, so it's really helpful to have that good connection. Most teams don't have a coach that was a former setter, let alone an All-American setter, let alone a multi-USA national team setter, so to have a setter as your head coach, what has Coach Robin done for you over all these years? Because you played for her in club as well. Er, I actually didn't play for her in club, but I always looked up to her when I was growing up, and I just knew like that she was such a great coach. So I'm really excited to actually be able to learn from her, and let alone just play under her belt. So it's going to be a really exciting season. All right, I'm with redshirt senior defensive specialist slash libero Talia Edmonds. Talia, this is number six for you for senior for uh, for camp and training camp what's the feeling like the feeling is great <laughs> I mean it's just 
When you do it so often, I feel like, and this being my sixth year, that it just gets easier and easier, but also this group of girls and this coaching staff makes it the most fun that I think I've had in my couple couple preseasons. <laughs> for, for the freshmen, for the first years, what has been your words of wisdom to get help them get through this time? Treatment, 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 that's the first part, is take care of your body because it camp can be a lot longer if you are not doing the things that you need to do in terms of like nutrition and hydrating and going to see our trainers. So that's my first word of wisdom. And then the second one is that, you know, the harder you work now, the more it'll pay off when we get to playing. Last year as a collegian, what are you most looking forward to? Just being able to compete. I mean, I think I kind of get flashes back and forth of like, man, I'm gonna be done with this. As It's gonna be quick. I, I know that December is gonna come quick. So I'm just excited to be able to compete at this level and come to practice and get better every day because eventually I won't be able to do this anymore. So I'm just excited to compete with this group. Your former school, Michigan State, yep. in the Big Ten, your first opponent this year, Northwestern, fellow Big Ten member. Yeah. What have you, and yes, the personnel has changed, coaches have changed maybe, what has been kind of your game plan, your scouting report for the team to help with Northwestern coming up next week? Yeah, so notoriously Northwestern is pre usually a pretty good serving team, so uh, serve and pass game will be really important, us coming out um, hot on the service line and then also being able to pass their, their tough serves and then they run a fast offense, so being prepared to just dig some balls and, and be able to rally back and forth because I think that's one thing that we have going for us is that our defense is really good, so just excited to see that against a Big Ten team. I think we'll do well. It's been quite some time since you guys had a game in here last November. What are you most looking forward to on opening night? Just the the electric the electric vibes of like the whole stand. I think whenever a play is made or you know a good rally happens, that the stand is unmatched in the amount of fans that are just into the game and engaged. So I'm I'm most excited to get back into that atmosphere. One of the, one of the newbies, Paula Gershing, mm -hmm. mentioned the crowd and the fan base was the factor in her coming to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. So is that is that a surprising? Is that surprising for you to hear that a player picks a school based off the fan base? No, not a, it's kind of part of the reason I came to. <laughs> so, you know, I think that that's cool, though, that a lot of these girls know that, and it's it's part of the culture. So um, I'm excited for the newbies. It's always, you can know about it, but to experience it for the first time is always super exciting. So Thank you so much, Talia. Thank yeah, you. thank you. All right, I'm here with sixth-year outside hitter Chandler Cowell. Chandler. You've been around these media days, you've been around two days for so long. What's been your message to the first year players? What can they expect? Oh, I mean, honestly, any collegiate athlete knows that double days are rough, but they're worth it. Like, we get the reps right now that we needed, that we weren't able to get all summer, and being together. So, the main message is stay together, work through it, and effort will come as long as you just put your head down and do work. So that's what I say. You were mentioning your older brother, Colton, former Rainbow Warrior All-American. You saw him in Gym 1 just a few moments ago. What was that interaction like? Yeah, I have a, I love my brother. Um, he's been so busy since I've been a collegiate athlete that he actually hasn't been able to see me compete in a jersey yet, St. Mary's or here. So he's here right now getting a dentist appointment for three days. So I just crutched over to Gym 1, and he finally got to see me in a jersey. And the fact that it's a Hawaii jersey is... It's pretty, pretty incredible. Like my ta my eyes are like tearing up, and he's his did too. And it was just, it was a moment that I'm glad he finally got to see me in a jersey. Next week, next week it all starts. Yep. Two top 25 teams yep. and a very good uh, team out of the Big Ten. What is the motivation? What's been the discussion amongst the team how how ready is this group for the next week honestly I am so impressed from the sixth year seniors to the freshmen I think we have a remarkable team this year I think we have depth that we haven't had in a while just you know energy wise player wise like we have it all and I think the biggest thing that we're gonna that we've been working in the gym is grit like we are grinding it out we are touching everything not a ball is hitting the floor without a body next to it so i think that's something that when we get to the, you know those taller teams or those bigger name teams we're gonna wear them down we're gonna we're gonna beat them defensively we're gonna be, obviously we're gonna have those big kills but the biggest part about us like coach rob always says is that defensive component so for sure we're putting in work there tough loss against lsu last year in the first round of the yep. nc2 a's what's the motivating factor how can the sting of losing in the first round last mm -hmm. year. How can that build motivation coming into 2023? Oh, that was a tough one for sure. We were in the locker room after just, you know, really feeling it, feeling all those emotions. And I think, obviously, we really thought we had them. We had a really strong first set, and then, you know, they came out. But I think what we learned from that experience, everything is a growth opportunity, right? And so I think what we learned is we don't want that feeling again and how to capitalize on those points and on those big plays, how to finish them and turn those into runs. And I think 
we can do that this year for sure. We have those hitters. We have defensive components. We have amazing control. And hopefully we can just capitalize on points and go on runs and finish strong. For 2023, you played on the beach, had some unfortunate personal news. And then last week, with what has gone on and what's continuing to go on with Maui, you're, you're alumna of King K. Kaulike. You're from Kula. You know mom's on the ground going all over the island to do her part and help out. If if there's a message to the island, to the state, what would you like to tell everybody? Yeah, this uh, it's been a rough it's been a rough week for sure, especially with my community hurting so bad from the devastating fires. My message is, we're gonna get through this. You know, Hawaii is is a beautiful beautiful place, but what's even more beautiful is its people, and I think we're seeing that. I think the people across the island, across all islands, are we're 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 trying to take steps forward. So. As a community, we're strong, we're Maui strong, we're gonna get through this. It's hard and we're sad and we've lost a beautiful part of our history, but we're gonna rebuild and we're gonna come together. And I'm with, I'm with all of Maui. My heart is with you every second, every moment I haven't been there. It's, it's, it's weighing on me, but I'm strong and I'm gonna help you all get through this in one, any way I can, whether it's physical or spreading information. Maui strong for sure. Appreciate the time, Chandler. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much for joining us here. Simplify Arena, the Stand Share Center for Rainbow Wahine Volleyball's Media Day. Don't forget, get your season tickets. Check out these ladies' first game, August 25th, next week, Friday. Big Ten member Northwestern. We'll see you there.